give you all a chance. That's my notes. All right. First of all, I want to start off by saying that I missed the opportunity in the last two meetings to understand the process to get up here. But I wanted to say this. I've been in this community all my life. Steve Shore is a personal friend of mine, and I believe in him very much. Steve knows my heart and knows my feelings. I've expressed them to Steve. Some of you around here I know to a lesser extent. Some of you I know not at all. I'm hoping that my words do not fall on deaf ears here tonight. Is this. Just as I'm a believer in Steve Short, I'm a huge believer in John Freshwater. And I want people in this town to know, who know me, that that's where I stand. Additionally, I know way too much about the situation. You see, my son is a teacher in this school who I like to believe is highly regarded as a history teacher. By putting, his, putting him out here, he recognizes the, the liability and hopefully not the retribution by that happening. But let me tell you this. I can walk to a room that there is a Bible on another desk. Yes. I don't see him on the firing list. God help us should that occur. Yeah. Finally, I would say, I have concerns about the fairness of this investigation. I truly do. I know people who, I'm correct, Steve, were verbally submitted to the investigators on behalf of John Freshwater to be investigated and asked questions in fairness as well. Neither of the people that I'm aware of, and I know personally, were ever contacted and asked to come speak. Wow. Tremendous violation. Wow. Additionally, I would say this. My final comment. I manage a lot of people. And there's a thing called performance reviews. I don't know the experience around the people around the state. I hope that you're knowledgeable of the requirements by law through performance evaluations. And if there is a difference where you have a teacher of the year who falls below, he's a valuable resource. It's hard to find good resources today, humans who have care and have the ambition to do that which is right. If there is something that is indeed incorrect, you have a responsibility through the performance review system to put a person on a corrective action to restore them to that level of expectation. That is assuming the expectation was ever stated. Yes. Was it? I don't know. I've had experiences in the last two years with other administrators who showed me performance reviews are not clearly done. Thank you. Thank you. 
glad that it was the school board that dragged Mr. Freshwater's name throughout the world media. Was it not Mr. Freshwater who was the first to bring this to uh, the public forum on the public square on, what was it, April 16th? I did not see the school board rushing out to make a point of this. Uh, it was their intention, as far as I know, to handle this as a private matter, as it has other personal uh, issues. But it was the freshwater uh, group that made this a public issue, and they, and they alone, are responsible for this uh, becoming a public uh, source of, of discussion. Uh, I would also like to say, in that regard, uh, I'm privileged to know the family who brought the charges, and I know that this is not for them about the Bible on the desk. They are concerned about the safety of their student, of their son. This is not about the Bible. They never complained about the Bible on the desk. I am convinced, and the Bible on the desk nowhere appears in the four charges that I can see. I can only surmise that Mr. Freshwater was asked to remove the Bible on his desk because in the context of all these other objectionable behaviors, it did pose a problem. And finally, Mrs. Miller posed a long litany of uh, faculty characteristics that do not be time. Next speaker is Marilyn Booker. I saw a picture in the paper uh, of the uh, lesion on the boy's arm, and in no way did it resemble a cross. I would really appreciate someone explaining to me how that was a cross. Uh, I also uh, I want to express my support for John Pritchard, and I'd like to know if I can donate the remainder of my time to one of the previous speakers. I'd like to hear the rest of what Darcy had to say. Amen. Thank you. 